Hi guys, we're moving on in our math book to problem solving lesson 7.7 .7. and this is where we read story problems and then um, word problems and then we solve them based on what's happening in the word problem and our word problems are going to be dealing with money today. So problem solving with money, our question is how does acting it out help when solving problems about money? And what that means is being able to picture what's going on in your mind, um, that's going on in the problem, and then also like drawing it out because lots of times when we draw it out in pictures, we can understand what's happening in the word problem. So on this page, it gave you the word problem. Kendra gave two dimes, two nickels, one quarter, and two $1 bills to her sister. How much money did Kendra give her sister? Well, we would know we're gonna, what do I need to find? Underline the question, how much money did Kendra give her sister? And then I would circle two dimes, two nickels, one quarter, two $1 bills, and I would count that money up. So I would show that in my workspace. So that's just an example of what we're going to be doing today. All right. So here are the problems you're going to work out. It says use play coins and bills to solve. And maybe you have those types of things at home. Or you can just draw it on your paper because it does say draw to show what you did. So I'm in number one. And it says Jacob has two $1 bills, two dimes, three pennies in his pocket. How much money does Jacob have in his pocket? So I would underline the question, how much money does Jacob have in his pocket? Then I would circle two $1 bills, two dimes, and three pennies. Hold on. I don't know why it's doing that. Anyway, and then I would count that money up because really the key words is just how much money does he have. So I'm going to in my workspace, draw two $1 bills and two dimes. And think to yourself, a dime is worth 10. So I'm drawing two sets of 10 and three pennies, which are three ones. So if you were drawing that, it would look like And then I would count that money up to see how much money he has in his pocket. Because it doesn't say that he spent any of his money. It just says that he was counting the money in his pocket. So I would count $1, dollars $2, $2, $10, $2, $20, $2, $21, $2, $22, $2, and $0.23. And when I write that, I want to make sure that I write with a dollar sign and a decimal point. So that's what my problem should look like in my book. So, I wanted that to get that off. There we go. Let's go ahead and do another one together. Sorry if my Computer's not working the best today. It says Amber used two quarters, one nickel, and three one dollar bills to buy a toy. The toy cost a dollar five. How much money does Amber have left? So I'm going to underline the question. How much money does Amber have left? Circle two quarters, one nickel. And three one dollar bills, and I'm going to circle a dollar five because that's important. And then I would put a box around used because if she used two quarters, one nickel, and three one dollar bills to buy a toy, am I going to add that to my collection or am I going to take it away? I'm probably going to take it away. So the toy cost. A dollar 
five. And I'm going to draw what she has. She has two quarters, which is two sets of 25, because quarters are 25. One nickel, which is worth five. And three one dollar bills. Okay. So my workspace would have that picture in it. And then it says she spent a dollar five, or it costs a dollar five. And I want to figure out how much she has left. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cross out a dollar five. I'm gonna cross out one dollar and five cents. And then I'm gonna go ahead and count the money she has left. One dollar, two dollars, two dollars twenty-five, two dollars fifty. And that's what I would write on my workspace. So that's what's happening in our math book today. We are reading word problems, figuring out what's going on, and drawing pictures to solve them. So you're gonna complete those two problems, maybe you did them with me, and then you're gonna skip, and you're gonna go on to page 507, and you're solving four word problems with money, and you're gonna go to the back, and you're gonna solve the problems on the back, the six problems on the back, two word problems with money, and then our review problems. And always remember, feel free to take pictures of the work you're doing and I'll look them over or make sure your parents are checking them as well. Keep counting that money, guys. You're doing a great job. Bye.